Hey friends, and welcome to this first lesson of Tana Fundamentals. I'm really excited to show you Tana and how it works. And in this lesson, what we're actually going to do is look at its UI high level perspective, just to give you a little bit of orientation and make sure where the main elements are. And then in the next couple of lessons, we'll get into the nitty gritty nitty gritty details of how Tana works and the amazing things it can do for you. So let's get into it and let's look at Tana's UI, the main elements. So here we are in Tana and this is what you're going to see when you open up Tana for the first time. You have a daily note that is pre-filled with a little bit of content that's very nice to play around with and that I'm going to use to show you a couple of its main features. And also important to know is that you will get a new but then empty node for every day that you open up Tana, but we'll get into that in more detail as well. So what you see here is basically a blank canvas that you can use and that works as a outliner, right? You might have seen this in Workflowy or Roam or Loxseq. And in this respect, Tana works just like these tools. Any bullet point you see here on the left that has this little gray shading around it shows you that it has child nodes that are indented under it. And if I hover my mouse over here, I see a little caray icon. If I click this, I see what's indented underneath that node. If I click that again, it gets collapsed again. So collapse expand is something that you can do. Now, the indenting and unindenting is obviously necessary to make anything that could be collapsed under something else. And that works very simply by typing shift tab and tab like you would in, in any other outliner. If you want to use a shortcut to expand or collapse bullet points, you can use command on the Mac or control on Windows up arrow and down arrow. So up arrow collapses things, compresses them if you will, and down arrow expands. Makes intuitive sense, I think. So that is collapse, expand, indent, unindent. You can also move uh, bullets, of course. You can do that by drag and drop or also through a shortcut command shift and up and down arrow that lets you move bullets around if you want to. If you want to have a look at all the shortcuts that Tana gives you, you can go here to the upper right to the keyboard icon in Tana's interface. And that shows you all the shortcuts for navigating and for editing and for formatting bold, italic, underline, all exists. Now that is the basic outliner functionality, quite useful. Then we have the search here. So I can search for Hey Folks, and it shows me here in the search bar that a node with the text with the title Hey Folks already exists. I can click this and it jumps to that node and zooms it in. I can zoom out of that node by typing command comma, and I can zoom into nodes by command period. That takes me to the next higher or lower indentation level in terms of focus, right? So command period, command comma, command comma, up and down the indentation tree. And then on the very left here, we have the sidebar. In the sidebar, you can place things that are important to you that you want to have frequent access to. It's preloaded with the calendar, and that's always going to be there. This is where your daily notes live, right? So if I just click this calendar, it takes me to the current node. If I go to previous day, takes me to the previous day here in, in the top navigation bar. But if I now click on calendar, it takes me to today's node again. I can 
expand this as well and you see here days are nested in weeks and weeks are nested in years and so here we're in week 38 right now today is saturday september 24th and this is the the node i'm on yesterday and so i can navigate around the daily nodes here in the sidebar as well you see here to do is we're not going to jump into that just now we're going to do stuff like that in the future but what i do want to show you is how you can place things here in the sidebar yourself you can either do drag and drop right um, so here until you see the blue bar and then hey folks now has moved from the daily note to the sidebar and of course i can drag it back um, as well yes i can cool let's move that up again and if I click on the workspace name, so Cortex Futura here, this takes me to the root node of your Tana workspace. In Tana, everything is a node, and that's actually going to be the title of the next lesson. But in this lesson, just take it for granted, this is the root node that everything else moves out from in your workspace. And if I click here and type something, so, Hey folks, again, or this is lesson one, you see here on the sidebar, this appears. And if I create a child notes to this is lesson one. Um, so shortcuts, what did we do? Uh, search bar, for example, you see, I can expand this and they appear here in the sidebar as well. So that is the sidebar and we're going to place something there in the next couple of lessons. One really powerful tool that Tana gives you is its command prompt. The commands that you have at your disposal are a mile long if you list them out, but I do want to show you just how to get to it so that you can explore it yourself. And you do it by typing command K or control K if you want. And that gives you this search field here, find nodes, move to views list. We're going to cover all of that in, in a little bit more detail, just as a tiny gimmicky way of showing you this sorting things we have C, B and A. And if I now move my cursor into sorting things, hit command K and type sort by name A through Z, then the nodes I had here will get sorted in alphabetical order. Just as a gimmicky way of, of showing you that the command bar or the command prompt rather exists. And we're going to use it a bunch in the next couple of lessons. One other thing in terms of user interface, if you um, right click a bullet, for example, you see you can open this node in a new panel. And if I do this, you see sorting things is now open here and the daily node is open here. Tana's panel support is still in its early days, I would say, as I'm recording this just as their public preview uh, launches. So depending on when you watch this video, this might be already much more capable than it is right now. But I find it already super useful that I can open multiple things in different panels and also switch how they're ordered. For example, that's quite useful in, in my experience. As a final thing, you have here in the very upper right, the settings icon, you can see set preferences, you can enable dark mode, for example, if you rather have things a little bit dark. And this is also something you can do from the command prompt. So set theme to dark mode or set theme to light mode. You can do a ton of things directly from the command prompt in Tana. And that is very powerful indeed and lets you move really quickly through your workspace. As a final thing, you can, wherever you are in your workspace, add things to the daily note. And you do this by typing command E or control E. And if I now add 
something cool here and type command E again. Now I have this added here. This also works when I'm in uh, this node here and I type command E something else. That's cool, type command E again. And if we move back to the daily node, it has moved here as well, right? So wherever you are, you can really just dump your thoughts and store them on the daily node. And that lets you get them out of your head, but place them somewhere you will find them again. So that's the very basics of Tana's user interface. We've covered the daily node. It works like an outliner, has basically the features of Roam and Logseek in that regard. You have powerful keyboard shortcuts and the command prompt, which we're going to use a ton in the couple of next lessons that are following. You can always add things to the daily note by typing command E. You have a sidebar where you can place things, a calendar where you can move through all the daily nodes that you have created. You have a search bar that you can use to jump to things. And with that, we're concluding this lesson on Tana's UI fundamentals. And in the next lesson, we're going to cover how everything in Tana is a node. So see you then, have a good time and play around a little in your Tana workspace. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye bye.